So junior year, um, I was living in Aikens Hall, and I went downstairs to visit my friend JB, and he asked me, did you meet the new guy across the hall? So I said, no, let me go over and introduce myself. So I knocked on the door, and the person opened it, and I said, hi, I'm Angie. And it turned out that I was meeting my future husband. Um, so we started dating soon after that. We've been married for over 13 years. We have identical twin girls who will be 11 this month. So little did I know, being friendly and introducing myself to the new guy across the hall, that I would be meeting my future husband. I think maybe our first date might be considered like going to the dining hall and having dinner. <laughs> I don't really remember the first date. It, we just kind of were hanging out together and like with our group of friends and everything. And then I remember it was sometime in October that we were like, you know, being all cheesy, like, do you want to be boyfriend, girlfriend? And we were like, sure. So then it just kind of started. It was October of 2001 that we started dating. I'm really weird with dates, so I remember those <laughs> things. <laughs> Well, I'm here today with my college best friend that I met uh, freshman year. Um, we're both, we were both early childhood elementary education majors and I met her first semester. Uh, she lives in Massachusetts, I live in Maryland, um, and we see each other, we try to see each other a couple times a year, but we decided to come here together and meet up. And so I met my college best friend here also. It's our 15 year reunion. I've come 5, 10, and 15. Um, my parents, I just grew up in Sunbury, so right across the river, so whenever we come home, we can stay with them, so that's convenient. Um, I'm excited to see how the campus has changed. Uh, my mom dropped us off, and there were already buildings that weren't here five years ago, so we're actually taking a tour at 10 o'clock, so I'm really excited to see what else, how else the campus has changed.